Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Stardust channel, my name is Shanks and I hope you are ready for a great fight because today we are gonna attack the Edoras with our Isengard army for 50 more command points and one more power point. Let's get it started and wish me luck because that's gonna be quite challenging, trust me on that one. Edoras has for ages been the seat of Rohan's kings. This city of wood shall soon lie in ashes. Okay, so quit animations, I am ready to fight. Destroy any horse man camps that oppose us. Crush the defenders of their city. Leave no building standing inside Edoras. Halt, you maggots! Make camp here! Okay, guys. You heard Lourdes, right? Leave no building standing inside Edoras. Uh oh. Uh oh. There is a camp. We need to take it down as soon as we possibly can. And we can use this outpost as like a. I mean, we can build a tower just why not? And finally, the work pit is available. That means we will get the chance to recruit some work riders. But as you can see at the bottom left side of your screen, we have not many command points available. I believe we don't even need to use Warchant just yet for this couple of Rohirrim. We can handle them even without the help of the Warchant. More of them are coming from down side, but it's okay. And Warchant is not even available just yet. Again, we don't need that. Lurz is eventually gonna hit level 5. You look how fast he's gaining experience. And level 5 is a level five is a great milestone since we will be able to give leadership to the nearby allied unit. And unlike this, is uh, unlike this. Or oh, actually nearby infantry, okay. Unlike the Orkish Medicine, the leadership from Lourdes isn't exclusively Urukai. It's also gonna work on our Dun Landings, which is very important. Warten is almost available. Lourdes can also be in uh, in between the units. This way you can share experience and level up this way also way, way faster. It's a matter of time, but uh, once again, the damage output against buildings, not the greatest. Please, Lords. Where is Ugluk actually? Did we lose Ugluk? Yeah, we lost him already. What happened? I wasn't paying attention for a single second. And with level 5, uh, why we get money for killing stuff? We get money for killing stuff now, right? Yeah, plus 7. But why? Does he have pillage now? No, he doesn't have pillage. Oh, yeah. This also is the pillage at the same time. Loot enemy kills for resources. That's great. Big Warchan is incoming. Use fire and take down the Zitter first. Look, it's gonna go down in a second with this much fire. You can also use Eye of Sauron. Keep killing the buildings as long as the fire is active. Lourdes. <laughs> Lourdes is busy killing those uh, Rohan units without a <laughs> draft. <laughs> Look at them. It's a boy. Lourdes. Why would you do that, Lourdes? Okay. You can keep fighting here, yeah, not a big deal. Even uh, the buildings are getting destroyed a bit faster now because if you keep your units alive in every single mission, you will obviously be able to rank them up. And the more ranks you have, the stronger they're gonna become. They will become more tanky and also they're gonna deal way more damage. So that's why it's so important to keep your units and heroes. I mean, heroes doesn't really matter because you will get to revive them every single time. But uh, that doesn't work on the units. So keeping your unit alive is very, very important. Devastation is available, we can use it to get some money. And Devastation is such a great economical boost, guys, it's unbelievable. Please kill this last remaining <laughs> building. Use Garralty to kill it a bit faster, it takes ages. Okay, we can kill them now, not a big deal. We destroyed that, but we have still lots of uh, buildings to destroy. That's a really, really big castle. Holy quackamole! Okay, wait a second. I was worried for a single second. Where is Ugluk? Ugluk, how did you come here? Eh? Okay, I'm actually quite <laughs> surprised. Anyways, we have this amount of money. We need to make sure to protect this tower. And I'm really not happy about that. That we are not able to shoot them. And they are outranging our tower, which is... Kind of making me sad. Okay. So let's build some more furnaces because we need the eco. We have three power points collected. Can we do something with that? The answer is no. But we can... Very, I mean, we are really close for picking the industry. Get a fire going. 
Okay, let's kill them. Warchan is available. Let's use it. Can we kill this tower? Yeah, we can kill this tower also. Really fast with fire. That's really nice. I like that. Lourdes is able to save today. Yes, Lourdes is able to save today. And first of all, let's build the armory and buy all the upgrades first. And then we can just get uh, units on the field right after. Ugluk health. I want to see this. Kill him. Oh yeah, he's able to heal him. That's, that's really good. Okay, let's kill these units too. On top of the wall. Use your sword. Lords to kill them a bit faster. There is another uh, camp. I believe we need to take down this camp first. Before anything else. Before we go inside the jeans, you know. So let's move on. Level 4 now. Does he have anything up? No, level 5 is needed. Okay. Look, look. Alright, so you go guys to this side. Armory is gonna be up very soon. This output is gonna give us money also over time. And if we really need to, we can also go for the industry, but I believe we don't need that right now. Forge plates. Heavy armor. Ugluk have, has to be careful. Oh, but you know, because of Lourdes' pillage, the captain of Orfang, loot enemy kills for resources. We will also get money every time we kill units, which means all the time, because we're eventually gonna kill units like thousands of them. In this mission all alone, not even talking about the entire campaign. Conquer this camp and reveal the Dwarfia of Isengard. I got you. I see you. Plus 7 for killing those peasants. That's amazing. Okay. Use Warchan too. They're also able to attack over this thing, which was not possible before. We had to go inside the jeans. Let's use Orkish Medicine once again. Pew. Nice. It's only healing them, right? Yeah, it's only healing them. Use fire. Use fire. Kill the sister first, this way he can't reveal anything else. There is Eowyn, the shields maiden of Rohan, waiting for us. Look at this graphics, ladies and gentlemen. That looks like Eowyn to me. The real Eowyn, you know what I'm saying? The design is next level in this mod. Okay. Uh, we are only missing this too. And after getting all these upgrades, we can demolish the armory and we are good to go. I don't trust wizards. Okay, we are losing a lot of units though, because it takes, as you can see, ages to destroy these buildings. Fire please, to kill it a bit faster, would be amazing. But they might come very soon. And uh, once again, the situation is not very good for us, because we are getting out ranged. So actually, the towers are not helping nothing. Okay, we did another one. Uh, conquer any Rohan camp, nice. So we have almost the money for this camp. And we also get money from destroying these little buildings. So let's do this. Okay, we need to peel back though, to this side. Okay, get the money, build some towers here. I don't know why I'm building towers, but let's build them anyway. We get the money. Hey, yeah, we got decent amount of money from this, actually. For free. So killing these things is like one second, you know? So let's build some more furnaces. More money. More money. So, you know, eventually when you play the campaign, you, you want to make sure that your eco is really strong and you don't need to be worried about the money after the first couple of minutes, you know? That's very important because you might need to replace your units over and over again. And if you, tight, if you are tight on money, it's going to be annoying for you to deal with. Trust me on that one. Okay, there are also some uh, some buildings we can destroy to get money, but we don't need to do that right now. Armory can, of course, be demolished now. Let's, let's do this. Wait a second. So let's save one of the buildings for the Siege Warwicks. And here I want to build the Warp Pit for, uh, for the first time, actually. Okay. You want to fight? My army is really strong. Let's peel it back with this guy, because he's damaged. This better be worth it. Let's, we can fight for a little bit. Okay. He's closing the gate, of course, which makes sense. But for that reason, we need to build the siege works now. Keep the in this 
And yeah, breaking the wall doesn't do anything, so we need to definitely break the gate. Because the design of this thing is there are mountains, so even if you break the wall here, it doesn't really help you to enter Edoras. That's not gonna work like that. Eomir, why are you screaming like that? Alvin Ally is summoned? Are you kidding me? You think that's gonna help you? Or Kishmi this in time. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Can we destroy this one, actually? Yeah, we are able to attack this too. Oh my goodness! Who needs siege weapons in 2021, yes? Who needs siege weapons? Uh, just demolish that, we don't need that, trust me. Work riders can be nice. And here we can build the Uruk pit. I was not expecting this much burst against this... <laughs> That's not gonna work like that normally. You need to... Uh, getting inside the jeans here in the normal BFME 1 campaign is not gonna be possible. Because you can't uh, target the gate with your combos. That's not possible normally. But now it is. Only when you use a flaming arrow volley. So let's kill them. And you can also join this party if you want to. Bork Riders. There we go. Uh, I believe they are weaker than they are normally because um, they have not the choice to purchase heavy armor on them. Raise the white hands. Hand. Let's make two combos here and uh, wait for the war. It's almost up. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna wait for the second war rider and go inside. That's the plan. And whole ability is giving you the same damage like we are used to. Sixty percent more damage. So let's ride through the army and we can use Warchan at the same time. All ability is able to stack with the Warchan. That means we can get our uh, Warc Riders hit like an absolute track. Hold on a second. You wait here to ride through. Okay, let's go inside, PB. Let's go inside, PB. You can also join them if you want to. You uh, Warc Riders, you see them? They are dying like flies, even with Warchan, which means 60% more, 50% uh, more damage and armor, but we are able to buy time. And good thing here is we have finally some units to deal damage against buildings, which is very important. Okay. Kill Eowyn. Where is Eowyn? That's not Eowyn. Eowyn is here. Okay. She's dead. <laughs> In a second. Okay. We are command points capped, but it's fine. We will lose war carriers eventually. We lost already one of them, right? Yeah, we lost already one of them. The second one is also going down. It's really unfortunate, though. And the, the, the unfortunate part here is because we lack of damage against buildings. These units, they are no problem for us. They're gonna come and die in a second, right? But war carriers are important. Actually, you know what we can do? We can also get normal Urukai. There is no need of getting combos only. Because the normal Urukai are gonna deal decent amount of damage to the buildings too. And when you don't combine them, you also don't lose movement speed. The Vorks are hungry. Four power points collected. Uh, actually, we can pick up this. Why not? You know? Just why not? And use it immediately. It's a nice buff. 100% uh, more resources from every single furnace. And you are able to hit every single furnace in a camp like that. Which is really effective. Orkish medicine. Lourdes gets back to full HP. Just like that. We need to kill these towers as soon as possible. They are annoying us. Oh, Elvin warriors. Uruks. Use this one. Restore 50% of health. Lots of sustain. Uruks, you go through that. We use war chant. And our Uruks are going to be the ones who are dealing damage to the buildings. Very important. Our heroes can build a bit... And we can also get these units to attack. Would be awesome. Also, they are not dealing too much damage to the buildings. Even if... What? The damage is actually quite bad. With Forge Bleeds. I'm really disappointed. I was expecting them to deal way more damage. So I believe we will still need some siege weapons. Okay. Okay, let's go like that. You are number one. You guys kill this building. Slowly but surely. Destroying this building so let's use whole ability i don't know if this is gonna make them kill a bit faster it takes ages why okay 
So buildings from Rohan are apparently made of out of diamond or something, you know? With fire it's possible, but without fire it takes literally forever. Lurts has to be careful. Orkish medicine has a really low cooldown so we can use it over and over again and it has, it has also a long range. Look, we were able to heal up those units from a really long distance. The tower is going to be taken down next. And Warc Riders, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed from them, not gonna lie. Okay, we also need to make a Siege Warriors, I'm assuming. To make sure to have enough damage against buildings, that's the only possible way. I don't know why he's sending them downsides. Let's go also downside. With this army, kill these units first. More units are coming from the top side. We have to destroy this citadel. Uh, Rohan Golden Hall has to be taken down. Siege works. Let's put this siege works Maybe get some rams. Do you have any objectives? L oh yeah, we could loot this, but it's okay. We don't need that really, right? Keep killing units here. Go for a big war chant, just like that. Great. We need to just wait, you know. Oh, we can actually make some more units. Let's make some Berserkers. I believe they are going to be a nice choice against the buildings, you know, later on. In the next stages of the mission, of the campaign. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, I like the sound. Industry is available once again. Let's use it. You see? We are able to hit every single one of these. Ram. You go to the Golden Hole, Ram. Finally, destroying some towers left and right. Let's use this. You can also try to destroy this because they are get. What is this? <laughs> they are <a> Look. <laughs> what? I cannot wait to march on the Taurus. Destroy. Please. No? Let's use I. Lords can also join to give more leadership. Nice. Let's destroy this archer range next. It takes literally one hour and a half to destroy this one building. That's unbelievable. You guys peel back. Okay, you guys use fire to burst it down a bit faster. The ram is going ham. Let the ram pass through. I want to see the ram damage once we are able to hit. I'm curious. They are following us, but it's okay. Is the ram going ham? Yeah, the ram is going ham inside the jeans, guys. That's great. Hey, hey, hey. Ram, 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 ram. We cannot command any more troops. The ram is a different story. That's a really different story, man. Or Kish Medicine. Get the money from the ground. But money is not a problem, as you can see and tell. The Ram is a different story, guys. Holy moly. Phew. Yeah, you need siege weapons to destroy stuff. That's what it is, you know? That's the only possible way. There is another Ram, and the good thing is, the enemy units are dealing zero damage to our Ram. I'm actually... Will we get the chance to hit this one time? I believe not, but we will, we will see. Oh, it's decent damage, decent damage. We need more rams, but VR command points kept. That's what it is. It's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's okay. So we need definitely more than that. Hey, hey, hey be careful. Let's use War Chant here. And, uh, yeah, let's try to destroy some buildings with this army, too. Uh, let's use Carnage from Lourdes. Kill these buildings first, please, before anything else. Okay. Please use Carnage. We need more rams. Oh, he was just staying there forever for, the, for whatever reason. You guys can go back in. You guys can try to escape. Lourdes is slowly but surely taking this down. Oh, oh, oh. Use heal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we have fire? Oh, it's on cooldown. Okay. More rams. More rams are needed. 
Ok. Ok, finally destroyed. Finally. So we have actually destroyed in the first stage, in the second stage, and even in the third stage. Uh, there is one more building remaining, but I will just send a ballista or two, uh, ram or two. Okay. Okay. There is a tower, by the way, but it's fine. Stop attacking my lords, please. And lords, you can also use the bow, you know. Keep your distance when you are low like that. The rams. I wanna get, I wanna wait for the second. Ah, oh, we are command points kept again. That's why we can't wait. Uh, you you kill this one, please. You grab the money on the ground, and you can also try to target this one. And by the way, your vision of Palanti is giving you movement speed bonus also on your siege weapons. In this case, the ballista is gonna move a bit faster. Let's see the damage from these two units against the stable. Oh, let's kill the units first. Okay, let's peel back. I'm actually intended to lose more units because we can just get some more ballista, uh, some more rams on the field, you know? You do what I say. You do what I say. Please destroy this before one more Rohirrim is gonna arrive. You guys go back. The damaged ones can be sent back. Battering ram. You need more. We have two now, that's nice. You guys go to the golden hole. Okay. He's running it down. Okay, that's a different story now. That's what I like to see. <laughs> For the one tree, I'm using devastation. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any more buildings? No. Actually, we can try to kill these towers then. Just wait here with the army to kill stuff when they are coming to us. Okay, we can also use once again this to heal up Lourdes. Look at the range though, that's pretty nice range, not gonna lie. More rams, more rams, more rams. The rams are better in a situation like that. They are much more effective. The baristas, they are very slow, you know, really, really slow. Oh, we are getting body blocked with the rams. That's the problem. Did we lose both of them actually? Yeah, we did. And I can also click only on one of them at the same time. Use I. Okay. Almost war chant. There oh, these are the two rams now. Finally arriving. Okay, I see you. Okay. Let's use war chant. Let's use fire. Palantir, to make them a bit faster. Don't kill them. Oh, they are getting one-shotted. Oh, they are getting one-shotted, that's what it is. But we kill the towers, we can also kill them, not a big deal. Industry is available, let's use it once again. Instantly. Okay. The second... What is this hero doing there? Come on, move please. Alright. I hope these ballistas are gonna make it to this uh, castle. Because otherwise, I believe this army will need like one hour and a half. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the Rohirrim Arches are not gonna be able to deal damage or too much damage. Let's destroy the farm first. Kill these units, which we are. Because they are gonna be able to one shot our uh, rams. So let's try to protect them. Okay. Look how many how many berserkers we got. Holy moly. I didn't even notice that. Okay. You guys destroy the stable. And now the army is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. Oh, they are dying to this one tower. Don't. Attack! Can I also attack this with the... No, that's not possible, you see? You can only attack when you have fire. Without fire, it's not possible. Okay. The rams? Attack with the rams? Where are the rams gone? Are they destroyed? I guess so. Okay. War chant. 
Aye. And now the fire. Let's see the damage. Oh, it's enough. It's enough. It's more than enough. GG well played, guys. Edoras is defeated. You know what's next, right? Next is going to be Luke Lord celebrating. You know what's next. Next is gonna be, if I'm not mistaken, I mean we can we can see that for uh for now. But I believe next one is going to be uh, Hamsteep. We have now decent amount of command points. Oh no, actually not. We have uh, still Westfold or Dunhero. Okay, I believe after this one it's gonna be Hamsteep. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more content like this. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always... Keep hitting like a track and stay beyond standards. Peace.